Hello, YouTube family. I want to share a few words on my recent process of ending my romantic relationship with you. And this video is for those of you who may be going through a breakup or you are considering going through a breakup or you want to know if you're in the right relationship. And I'm just sharing my authentic journey with you because I realize how challenging these relationship dynamics can be in our in our lives it affects everything it affects our money it affects our practice it affects our evolution our business and relationships are incredibly fulfilling and joyful is my time sort of here. very joyful and, and can be very wonderful but they can also be extremely painful and this has been a wonderful relationship that I had so I have some lessons that I want to share with you to hopefully be of uh, service in some possible way and, and also help me to also release it and, and embody these realizations and so overall the relationship was a wonderful success let's start with the high note the the growth that I had and the growth that she had made every second incredible blessing and we uncoupled with a lot of love we're still friends we still meditate together once a week through one of my groups that I have on zoom She's still part of my freedom community with my friend Corey, and you probably heard about it already. Um, so she's still in this circle, but we are no longer romantically related. And obviously we had to go through the process of letting go and the emotions and the sadness and so on. And having said that, the, the relationship ended successfully. I also will say it, it took a lot for me to be willing to let it go because I find myself that I was I wanted to discern to do the right thing so there are three points that I'm I'm telling myself moving forward or what I learned from it is for me it's important now being in a relationship to be with someone who I feel like is going to the same direction in life and is also in the same economical financial uh, emotional spiritual capacity so it's someone who is able to be with me at the similar level of unfoldment and is advancing at the same level. Because otherwise, even though she could be the best person or the best partner and being very integrous and doing all the right things, it's just we are at different levels of unfoldment. It's like someone, and again, I'm not saying good or bad because we are all on the journey of uh, evolution. And there is no right or wrong. And there are some people who are at certain level of consciousness and there are others at another level of consciousness and another different path. So anyway, what I'm trying to get at is this, is I was feeling bad for leaving her because she was, she was struggling with some of the challenges that I had for many years, like finances and career and things like that. But I felt bad leaving for someone for that reason. And I was waiting for her to get caught up, but then I realized that that's just not my function to do that. And if, if I felt like, uh, like that was the person that I want to be married with and have children with, then I would be okay with that. But in this case, I'm not choosing to have a family. I'm not choosing to have a marriage. And my purpose for existence is self-realization and sharing my consciousness with the world. My, my intention is to see the whole world as my family. And I'm perfectly okay never getting married or having children. So that's kind of a strange maybe situation for me. Maybe this is not applicable, who knows, maybe it is. But I just wanted to share that I recognize that this person's life wasn't just going the direction that I was going to. But I was waiting for her to somehow reach this next level. So I was feeling bad for wanting to leave. But then what I realized is that by not leaving, I was actually dishonoring my own journey. And by trying to please someone and hold on to someone, I was actually dishonoring my own journey. So the realization came when I was reading one of the books and, and I realized that our job is to help others, but it's not to, to uplift others or carry them. It's okay to support someone for a time, season, give them the tools, but to continuously carry them, I recognize that that's a disempowering habit. And my parents did something similar to me when I was growing up, where they gave me a bunch of freedom and a bunch of things, 
And I never learned self-discipline in so many ways. And I struggled later for that. So that's one of the reasons. The other one, um, yeah, so that's, that's basically what I'm trying to say is that being in a relationship is fun and easy and then we get caught up because it's comfortable and it feels, it feels good and it feels nice. There are nice moments. And we even had a therapist for over a year. We had many therapy sessions. It was great. We both grew up. And I just recognized that it was just letting go. But to let go of something with someone who is wonderful and they're a beautiful soul is just really hard. Because if the person, let's say, does something wrong or they're lying or they're cheating or they're just bad, it's easy to just be like, well, this is bad. But when somebody is a beautiful soul, but they're just not there where we needed to be, that's where it was really, really hard because I just love this being. I literally love this being and I want her to be happy. But I had to really discern to be willing to let her be because I know there is someone better for her who she's going to be fulfilled with. So it is very challenging to, to have that discernment. And to that what allowed me to have this discernment was honest conversation, journaling session, and a lot of prayer because only through silence and prayer, I've been able to feel good about my decisions. And I'm not saying I made, maybe tomorrow I'll find out I made a mistake, I don't know. But at least I made the decision. Oh, and here's the thing. One of the realizations I had that maybe the decision is that I kept feeling like I am waiting, putting off what I wanna do and how my life wanna be because of my partner. So I was really complete with where we were living and I wanted more space, but in, but being with her, I couldn't do that. And you know, in order to have the spaciousness that I wanted, I needed to be at a bigger house, then I needed to spend more money, and I didn't feel like I can't spend that much money on the house that I wanted. And anyway, it was just creating that sense of, I am feeling restricted. That's what I'm trying to communicate. My travels, my spacious living, my, my work, and I also noticed that I was constantly trying to help someone else get to somewhere that I've already come. And even though I was supporting them, they just didn't have the capacity to get there. <laughs> you know, it's like, they're just not there. And so anyway, I, I hope I'm not sounding like I'm complaining. I'm just really trying to share how freaking hard it is when we are in a relationship and we need to let it go but we just don't know what to do because we want to do the right thing. We are, we, we are all in our soul. We are love. We, are, we want to do good. We want to love others. Nobody wants to hurt somebody else. Nobody wants to say, be the heartbreaker. But when we, when we go within and we take the time, we become aware of these impulses of the soul. And then having awesome people around me, people that I count as mentors and wisdom, to honestly giving me their thoughts without any manipulation or judgment really helped me to make this decision. So I hope I'm passing on this consciousness to you. Don't get me wrong, maybe, your, maybe yours is the opposite. Maybe you need to really commit because for a long time, for me it was to quit was the easy thing. I was just quitting, quitting, quitting. And for me, I had to really commit to go through those tough times in the relationship. And that's when the real magic of relationship comes. I'm actually kind of switching what I'm sharing, finishing this video with a, with a change in tonality. And sometimes, and that's for myself, for many, for many situations, is to go, go deeper into the wound. And that's when we got the therapist and work through this stuff. But then some other times, it's time to just discern and let go. And they're both challenging, and they're both uncomfortable, but they're both uncomfortable in a different direction. But just because it's uncomfortable, it doesn't mean it's necessary. Just because it's uncomfortable, it doesn't mean it's not a blessing. And now, about a, two, three weeks after, I'm feeling much more open, I'm feeling much more happy, I'm feeling much more spacious. And now I'm able to give birth to a new service, a new offering. And so, you can also learn about that on my website somewhere on the page, you can find out. I'm bringing a few people into back a lot. But anyway, I'm, what I'm trying to share is relationships are wonderful, but our culture has conditioned us to stick with it forever. And if you end it, you failed. 
but that's not necessarily true. Sometimes cycles come to an end, and I don't like the word break up because it sounds like you're breaking something. The only thing we're breaking is we're not having sex. The everything else is there. The love is there, the respect is there, the gen genuineness is there, the, the, the even desire to spend time with each other at time to time for food or hangouts is there. But letting go, sometimes, as Eckhart Tolle says, it's a greater act of commitment than holding on. And it takes courage and it takes commitment to let go. And Ramda says, it is up to the most evolved person in the relationship to lead the relationship. Now again, I'm not saying good or bad, but there are certain degrees of awareness. And if we discern something has completed its cycle, then we must honor the letting go process. And we must be that leader and initiate the conversation and make the decision. Share your thoughts. How do you navigate relationship dynamics? What are some of your stories that you can tell so that others will hear your thoughts because you have your own unique, perfect way you see the world and others may see it through your lens better than me and this video can be a, a mastermind, so to speak, to bringing all of us together because to sharing our authentic self and sharing our wounds, sharing our mess, sharing our messages, we get to evolve, we get to accelerate, and we get to heal our hearts. I know it sounds new agey, but it is true, isn't it? By sharing ourselves, being honest, being vulnerable, healing takes place, forgiveness takes place, acceptance takes place, discernment takes place. Thank you. Hope to see you again. If you like, feel free to comment, like, Follow me for more videos and shares. Have a peaceful day and week in life.